Guys, don't forget, today is the deadline to win the 26 inch OG LTZ wheels on 35 inch tires. Get your entries in www.chicomerch.com. Today at 11.59 p.m. is the last time you can get entered. 12 o'clock hits, it'll be done with, over with. Good luck to everybody that entered. We will be going live July 1st. Y'all stay tuned on Instagram, los.chicos. We will be going live on there to announce the winner. What is going on, you guys? We're back with another episode. Yes, sir. Been a long time, huh? Been a yeah. little while, man. Got that, you know? boy, got that boy Webber look. Just got off of work, straight back to hustling. Trying to make some content for you guys. Y'all you know see my boy in here rapping bro. today, look. Hey, by the way, this is not your average doorbell <laughs> ring company. Everybody flaming this is Daniel. Not ring. This Everybody is flaming Daniel but, saying he installed doorbells. That I mean, ain't I that can. ain't the same. Hey, bro. I can, but that ain't what I work at. I need a doorbell in my house. Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, in my cuarto también. This Doing man. All right, you guys. So today. The main focus of this this video is gonna be these two mamalonas. We're gonna give you guys. We read the comments. A lot of people wanted to see the info on this truck, what's all done to it, whatnot. But to, yeah, a lot of people also want to see the 24s on the single cab. So what you think? So we're finna swap them to see. I ver cómo looks. We're gonna see how it looks. We're gonna let ride them like that for a while. You think it's gonna rub up front? I think. I think it's gonna clear, bro. I think it's gonna rub. What you I think, think so too, It lie. probably is gonna rub in the front. I, I think, think it is. It's, too, it's gonna rub. I'm you telling see you. The on the 20s in the front. Yeah. It's yeah it's so here we go. Start cold start. Cold start. Somebody start yeah, it up. Let's see how it sounds. It's been sitting for weeks and weeks. So weeks, a few days, then we take it up. Chopping, huh? It sounds so hollow because of the grass. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, guys, right now what we're about to do is we're going to back these trucks up, get them on the street. We're going to start swapping tires and wheels, and we'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> That bitch, that bitch chopping. Bitch chopping, boy. All right, let's get a swap. Right, let's get a swap, man. I think it's gonna rub. It's already rubbing on these tires. I'm telling you, dude, I'm not like that asshole. Guys, once you go this low, I don't know where to jack this thing up from. The jack don't fit under the frame down there, so I guess we gotta jack, jack right it up there. by the, the hanger. Right there. Right? Oh. Or the leaf. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. That shit's sideways. <laughs> it gets caught on the edge, though. Ah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Right there, right there. Yo. Nope. Okay, 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 okay. They don't know what he's talking about. He got a lot to learn. So. A lot oh. to learn. This is business, man. <laughs> but yes, guys, stay tuned. We are going to be camming my crew cab. It's going to sound something like this. I'm excited for that. We will be dropping a video on that, so stay tuned for that. Hey, you know what's a fact, though? What? Ever since, well, ever since we uh, Daniel got this house, it's always been a full house. There's always trucks out in the street. Oh, yeah. Always, all the man. time. Especially if y'all watch the old videos. Keep this block busy. Oh yeah, for sure. Neighbors hate us. There we go. Hey, if you know, you know. This is the OG right here. The other one them broke down on us. The new one. The new three hundred and something dollar impact gave out the other day. Dang. Back to the, it's back to the OG. Hey, pero no no se raja el no se raja. No. 
Guys, these tires are getting low. As y'all seen the last the last video we did on this truck, we've been burning out, and as y'all see, it's about time for some new tires. Now this one you can get oh. you can get access to the differential. Yeah, this is only a 4.8 drop, but it's on 24, so I mean it lifts it up. Like that, man. <laughs> hey guys, check this out. Roast me in the comments, but look, we the reason I'm really swapping the tires is look at this. Check it out, bubble. Y'all see, see that bubble? Yeah. Alright, look. Y'all see that bubble? God. So yeah, we I'ma run them 20s till we can get a replacement tire, but look at this man. Look at the tread on this thing. And look at them bubbles. One right there, one right there. Damn. So what? I'm gonna fit, okay? Not right now. We gotta jack it up, but it will. I mean, that's what the tubs are for. True, true. Hey, it'll fit. Así como está? Yeah, the rear. That's no. full drop. You think? Yeah, that's full drop. That ain't gonna fit. That's full drop. Alright. Okay, you might. Tell you, man, they ain't know everything. Not everything. Nah, it's not even. Nah, it's not even. I mean, it's a little lower. Hey, look. Look at that, boy. We like we better hit the pit right now. <laughs> the only thing that bugs me about my truck, you guys, is obviously, I know it. You, you, you guys see it. It's got that ding, dent, and it's got this one, and that one up there on the driver door. Man, it, it just throws this whole truck off. But like I said, we're gonna cam it, we're gonna do exhaust, we're gonna go way lower in the back, and then, you know, we're gonna start swinging. So I'll fix it if we're gonna start swinging. You know? We're doing the front, guys, but look at this. Gives you an idea. Obviously, it's still kind of tilted, but this thing here is tucking wheel, man. Look at this. If only it sat like this. I think that's like that's how it would sit if we were like 11, 12, 13, somewhere around there. But that looks clean. So I mean, we might go lower actually. I mean, the only thing stopping us is nothing really. The gas tank, but we got tubs, so all we got to do is just relocate the gas tank. And we'll be good. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth, guys. Is it gonna hit? It's going. Let's see. Oh man, we ain't gonna be able to drive that thing. <laughs> it's sitting on the fender, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> well, this idea was not this great. Yeah, it's sitting on the tire. It's sitting on the tire. We had to do some modifying. <laughs> Bruh. So my brother was like, Bruh, I want to ride on the 20s because the 24 start riding like this. Let me show y'all why. This is this bruh. is the front tire, bro. Look. Bruh, look. I about died, bro. <laughs> look, at look at this. this. Look at this. Oh, oh my hold God. On. Hold on. There's more. Look at this. Oh, my God. Dude, what? in the world i don't know bro i guess a good thing we're doing this because that is insane hey i think you rolled like that to atlanta i ain't gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> you made it for food me like yeah. oh, this is crazy dude hey whoever made these kind of tires man y'all made some hey, durable tires. if y'all want some good tires look at this pantera bro hey i'm telling y'all i don't know how i'm still alive you guys god is great god is good god is good all the time praise his name that's all i gotta say look at this man Jesus Christ, look, you can look in there. Hold on, bro. You got a roach in there, hold on. Jesus Christ. You ain't gonna need one, but two tires. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm a living miracle. 
No, de, de por sí. Eh, ¿viste que otro barato? Sí. But yeah, guys, as y'all see, we got the truck on the fours. I don't know, it's sketchy right now. We're gonna get, obviously, we're gonna get new tires and whatnot. It's rubbing in the front. It's rubbing in the front. We need two tires. All we do, all we smell right now is rubber. Yeah. So it's crazy. <laughs> but it is on the 510 draw. We, we went over this, guys, but now it's on the 24s. But we might have to go up an inch in the front just to run 24s. 410 draw? But then again, I think it's the tires, like I told you. We need to get smaller tires. But yeah, guys, so stay tuned to that. We're gonna get some more tires. We're gonna lift the front up a little bit. Either we lift, I mean, we might as well bag it. Yeah, might as well. Probably gonna have to. So yeah, guys, that's it for the sink cap. Y'all can't tell me that thing don't look good. Woo wee, boy. I'm telling you, man. Got my crew cab looking bobo right now on the 20s. But look at this, guys. Hey, popcorn machine. Look at this. Woo wee. This is what's new for the crew cab. We got a lot coming for this one. So yeah, guys, as y'all see, Crew cab's coming along. I'm gonna give you guys all the specs on it right now. As y'all see, y'all see the crew cab, obviously. We got a motor. Wibble, nice enough to clean it for me. Looking good, A1 right now. Holler at my boy Wibble if y'all want y'all's motor wash, <laughs> truck wash, anything, look at him. He know what he be doing, that man got the recipe, man. But anyway, as y'all see, this is a 2007 classic. So, it obviously it came with the front end, the HD front end. But many of you don't like when people call it an HD front end, so we're just gonna say 06, 07 front end. So yes, we did put the billet inserts on the grill. I need a new bow tie, so that's in the works. I need some new clears. Daniel's tripping on me saying they're color matched because they're yellow. <laughs> Speaking of bow tie, bro, I thought we had a chrome one in the, in the single cap. We do. Ah, ya ves? Look at that, I like that. Hey, hey sir, we actually got a bow tie. So we're gonna put it's probably slide that on this one or either the single cab, but I mean, obviously you guys prefer to see the single cab over the crew cab, <laughs> yeah. so we'll probably put it on. Yeah, that. so yeah, we still need a bow tie then. Yeah, but shout out my boy Nando, as y'all see, this man installed some fog lights for me. So yeah, my boy Nando put in my fog lights. He did run everything OEM wiring, so yes, it, it hooks up under the fuse box. OEM switch, everything, baby. Fernando got me right, everything's OEM. He stole the... You know, my boy Nando be in the junkyard 24-7, so I told him to steal the, the original wiring, and obviously he ran it to the fuse box, original switch and everything, so everything looks good, everything looks how it should look. But yeah, guys, y'all see? Look at this. We're gonna be doing a stage three cam on this baby. So stay tuned for that. Y'all see right there? There we go, stage three. So yeah, guys, we went with a stage three turbo cam for this thing, as y'all see? Brand new, baby. I'm excited for this. I am. Text speed. Yes, sir. I am going to be doing it myself, so, you know, stay tuned. We're going to be. It's my first time breaking open a motor and working on motor work other than the single cab, but Daniel and them worked on that one more than me. So, I mean, if y'all have any advice for me, guys, comment down below. If y'all did this plan, I'm, I'm sure mo many of y'all have done this before, so give me some advice. Leave it in the comments. I'll read it. If y'all really want all the specs on this, on the cam kit, the springs, and everything, I'll drop it down for you guys, but. This is what we got coming up for this thing. And hopefully, you know, drop, drop down in the comments what stall I should get. Because I know I am going to be needing a stall, but I don't know what size. I've been debating, but if you guys, like I said, obviously you guys probably have cam motors running, whatever. So leave it for me down below in the comments and let me know what I should do. So yeah, guys, what we did for the springs, we did go with the upgraded dual springs, as y'all see. It's got the dual springs just to be safe, you know, get it. I want it to be reliable, you know, I don't want it to be, obviously we're going to give it a little hell every now and then, but I want it to be, you know, drivable daily, but it did come with all these parts, as y'all see, and like I said, it, I'm, it's my first time working on a motor like this, and the truck's already reliable, so I'm already sketched out about breaking it open, but I mean, it's going to have to get done anyway one day, so might as well start on it now. And my boy right here is popping open these. What we got in here? These push, push rods, rods y'all see? Nuevecitas, fresh yes, out the Texas Speed. As y'all see right here, that's the dimensions and everything. Texas Speed Performance 7.225. Man, I'm telling y'all, I'm 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 excited to start on this. So, you guys, drop drop. If like I said, any advice y'all have for me, leave it in the comments, and we we'll, we read the comments. So, but it's gonna be a good one, guys. Y'all stay tuned. Me and him, me and my brother, are gonna try to break it apart, do everything ourselves. You know. Basically hands on, you know, learn a little bit instead of paying somebody to do it. So we're going to get down and dirty with it. Hopefully it comes out good. But yeah, 
As of right now, we're sitting on a 4.8 drop. It's four in the front. It's got two inch drop spindle and two inch lowering coils. And then the rear, we got a six inch flip kit with the uh, two inch drop shackles. So it sits, you know, I don't really like the way it sits. We might go lower in the back. Obviously, I'm gonna need a bigger notch. Might just end up doing a monster notch and just go ahead and tub it all out and everything. And right now, the exhaust, we have, I think it's a 40 series uh, Flowmaster. And I'll give y'all a quick crank so y'all can hear it. But we might be switching that too because obviously we're, we're camming it. So obviously I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta let you guys hear it. Simple and clean. Obviously, like I said, we're gonna switch it up anyway. We're probably gonna end up doing true duels just to give it that aggressiveness. But yeah, this is how she sits. I don't know what to say no more. The cluster? Oh yeah. The cluster. Yeah, if y'all see the old videos, we got a stainless steel cluster, if y'all see. Hey, put a camera on me real quick. Look at this, guys. This is ridiculous. When I'm driving at night, obviously I have 20% on the windshield with a 5% strip and five all the way around with double layer 20 on the back. But look at this. Y'all see the cluster, right? Y'all see it? That's the lowest setting of the brightness. That thing's already bright, man. So look at this, guys. Look, look at my hand right here. You see it? it's on the lowest setting, but watch when I turn it up. Now show. Holy cow. Look at that, guys. If y'all looking at it from my point of view, imagine driving like this with 5%. Man, I'm telling y'all, it gets crazy dark. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Y'all stay tuned. Like we said, we got a lot of work in, work in the process. We're going to be camming, my, camming the crew cab, single cab. We got a bunch of little stuff we got to do to it here and there. And, uh, Y'all just stay tuned. We got a lot coming for you guys. Comment down below. Let us, let us know what y'all want to see next. Let us know if we should keep the 24s on the single cab. And keep the 20s on this one. I mean, like we said, guys, we got a lot coming up for you guys. A lot of content. We'll never run out of content because Daniel's obviously going to be putting rock lights on his truck. We're going to be camming this one. Single cab. We're probably end up going to shorten the, uh, the rear differential and all the, the axles and everything to run wide wheels in the back bed liner we still need interior work Webo still needs wheels he needs guys we got a lot coming yeah, up there's a lot a but, lot of little projects here and there but. like we said for you guys that are in the motor work we will be doing this one ourselves so stay tuned for this one we're going to be trying our best to film it for you guys and we're gonna what we're gonna be doing guys is we're gonna fix the single cab because right now it's running a little you know it needs a service it needs a new radiator it needs new plugs it needs a little uh, tune up a spark plug a tune up it needs a tune up guys and once we get that one running we'll start on this one that way i have something to drive while we start on this so we can take our time with it torque everything good and but yeah stay tuned for the single cap merch we got a design we're gonna finna start uh making it and hopefully you guys like it y'all just stay tuned guys don't forget today is the deadline to win the 26 inch og ltz wheels on 35 inch tires get your entries in www.chicomerch.com Today at 11.59 p.m. is the last time you can get entered. 12 o'clock hits, it'll be done with, over with. Good luck to everybody that entered. We will be going live July 1st. Y'all stay tuned on Instagram, los.chicos. We will be going live on there to announce the winner. Yeah, guys, like you said, go get your decals, go get your lanyards, copy your entries. Combo deal obviously gives you the more, the benefit of the doubt. It gives you five entries towards the setup. And like Daniel said in the previous videos, entries roll over. So if you order and you order again and you got, let's say you buy 40 entries, 40, your name will be in there 40 times. So like we said, we're going to be going live on everybody's account. You know, we don't do that mimicking. We don't do that scamming. So nothing. You guys are going to be, we'll show you every name. And yeah, so it's going to be a good one. So one of you guys is going to be taking it home. We're shipping anywhere in the USA. So if you guys want the wheels, and you're from Cali, you're from Hawaii, you're from anywhere in the U.S., we will be shipping it to you free of charge. So as long as you guys enter, that's the least of your worries. We'll handle all the hard work. They'll just arrive at your doorstep. Guys, Tacos and Trocas is happening again August 27th in Waycross, Georgia. Y'all stay tuned. It's going to be lit. It's going to be bigger than the next one, and bigger than the last one. Y'all make sure y'all pull up. Tacos and Trocas, we're going to have La Energia Norteña pulling up. We're going to be out there with a the whole crew. We might bring a few extra, may, may, maybe somebody else in the crew. I don't know. But for sure, we're going to be there, you guys. Selling merch. Catch us at our booth. August 27th. Tacos and Trocas. Yes, sir. And like you said, stop by the booth. 
we do do exclusive merch drops just for shows so if you guys go to the shows and you look on our website there will be merch there that isn't even on the site so to be able to get that merch you guys have to go to the shows and every show is different merch so it'll never be the same thing so it's kind of like an exclusive drop i guess but yeah guys jerseys yeah so mainly our main thing is jerseys so we're gonna be dropping some jerseys for that show we also got what caballos y trocas coming caballos up and trocas september sometime all but my north sure, carolina people we will be out there like they haven't announced the date the date exact but caballos and trocas will be there bandas y trocas september 3rd again in atlanta motor speedway we'll be out there it's gonna be a back-to-back -back show august 27th tacos and trocas literally the week after bandas y trocas catches at both of the shows back to back yes sir you know we stay working guys so you guys want to meet us you guys want to come caught some merch you guys want to check it out come to the badass shows we got plenty coming up so you guys stay tuned on the instagram los chicos we'll be posting all updates posting all the dates so you guys don't miss anything so yeah continue to support us you guys we do this for you and y'all support us we continue quemando llantas botando la whatever all for you guys thank you guys, enter now link in the description link in the first comment enter now 11 59 p.m is the deadline the last time you can get entries for that setup until then like this video comment down below please subscribe to the channel thank you guys for 40k 50k it's so close you guys subscribe catch you on the next episode